All right, questions for Coach Stevens? Any questions? Matt Vautor? Brad, um, how much does Marcus's injury change the way you use the minutes you have available for Kemba? Uh, none, because Kemba's still restricted. So it's, you know, we're, he'll play um, pretty similarly to what he's done in the last few games. So um, obviously, you know, as far as rotating other guys and um, who gets those minutes, who has a chance to play that hasn't played as much, who is going to play more that's played a little bit, those things will all be determined really based on opponent um, over the next five games that we're on this trip. Mark Murphy. Hi, Brad. I know, I know the timeline is two to three weeks, but considering what it could have been, do you guys feel like you might have dodged a bullet? with his injury? Well, I mean, I think, um, I, guess, I guess, yes. Uh, I, I, did th I did think leaving on Saturday night that um, we were at least hopeful that it was what it was. And so, um, you know, that was encouraging, but, you know, probably didn't make, didn't make it feel any better these first couple of days. I know Marcus was really sore yesterday and, um, you know, he still was using crutches, so, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. He did not come with us, so um, obviously, you know, we'll get more information throughout the week, and you know, as next week begins. Mark D'Amico. Hey, coach. I know you've done this before, uh, but what is the importance of kind of getting off a plane and getting right into a practice when you guys get out west for a long trip? Yeah, I mean, it just depends on like when it falls in the schedule and everything else. But um, it was important that we practice either yesterday or today, um, just because I don't I don't know when we're going to practice again before the you know the break in March. You know, if we do, it'll be super light uh, or small group work. So um, it was important that we do that. And then you know, just being when you change time zones, you're on a plane for you know by the time you sit on the tarmac and then you know, fly out here, it's, you know, it's a long, long day. And so I think it's good to move a little bit. Um, it also, you know, keeps you up a little bit longer. You know, maybe that's not as big of a problem for the guys, but for me, it keeps me up and adjust to the time. You know, we're playing 10 tomorrow, Eastern 10 the next day, you just right at it. Adam Himmelsbach. Hey Brad, uh, where are things at with Peyton and was he able to do anything today? Who? Peyton Pritchard. Oh, no, he, we haven't practiced yet, Adam. So we're practicing right now. The goal is for him to do some some of the stuff, but anything live, no. Ryan Rob. Hey, Brad. Um, Daniel Tice and Rob Williams is getting some time together, you know, in that against Lakers, and then I think gave you some pretty good minutes against the Sixers. What, uh, what do you like about those two together? And what do you, is that something you might look to more here with, you know, obviously limited options in the rotation? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's the whole, it's, the, it's what we discussed before with playing big versus small. I mean, it's just, you got to look at your options both ways and determine, you know, how you can divvy up the minutes appropriately. I actually like Rob playing as a single big more then I like that group together, even though it's been good in a small sample. Um, but uh, Rob's playing well. Rob's doing a lot of good things. And, you know, Rob likes to um, – I think he likes that that role when he comes in with that second stint with our – you know, with Tatum and our bench. Um, but we're going to have to ask him to continue to be flexible with playing with another – is the sole big and um but it's encouraging his you know that he's gotten i think he's really gotten better and very consistent final question for coach taylor snow hey brad um for a long road trip like this under such unique circumstances where the travel party can't really leave the hotel or anything like that are there any 
activities plan where the guys can still interact that way they don't go stir crazy over the course of a week not in california uh it's a little bit different here in san francisco and then la i think that there's some you know city ordinances and rules in place with regard to not supposed to eat together uh, i'm not supposed to leave the hotel um you know um i think it just kind of depends we're not only we're not only under the nba guidelines and enforcement but we're also under obviously whatever city and state locale we're in and what their regulations are so um it's not typical from the standpoint of um this would be a time where you can bond and spend time together and those type of things but it's one of the reasons why we wanted to practice when we got out here because we can do that we are allowed to come to the gym and that's encouraging so um once we get at once we you know every city will be a little bit different all right we'll wrap it up right there thanks coach thanks